and it is a glorious day in Jacksonville Florida at the Gator Bowl as the Bulldogs and the Gators settle in for their annual renewal there is scarcely a whisper of wind the temperature mid 70s the St. John's River so beautifully blue it's truly a remarkable setting the colors are red and orange and the Georgia Bulldogs ranked number four in the nation at seven and one the Florida Gators five and three. The Florida Gators have won the toss and they will be receiving to start this football game. And we have had some entertainment for you already today and we anticipate this one will be just as entertaining. Here's the series record and though Georgia has a substantial edge in the series and have won the last three they have not been easy that 26 21 win a year ago involved a great miracle play where Buck Ballou hit Lindsey Scott with a minute and three seconds remaining on a 93 yard touchdown play and that was the play that opened the door ultimately for Georgia to become the national champion for the first time. So the preamble is done the stage is set and we're about ready to go for this renewal of the fracas they call the biggest cocktail party in the south the dogs and the gators and the Goodyear blimp enterprise from Pompano Beach Florida the pilot is Captain Werner Hamp from Cocoa Beach Florida he is Goodyear's newest blimp pilot and this is the first nationally televised event for him and Billy Sullivan is the cameraman up there. Georgia seven and one Florida five and three and the young man who does the kicking for the University of Georgia has become quite a story. He is a freshman out of Stone Mountain. His name is Kevin Butler and in 1981 he has really been something. He's at 15 out of 21 field goals and his first field goal today will tie a Southeastern Conference record at 16 in a season. Lorenzo Hampton. Number seven is the deep man for the Florida Gators. He's the man in the middle. And the game is on. Hampton comes up at the five. Got a hole in the middle, but he is stripped up as he reaches the 24. The University of Florida opens with Wayne Peace. He's a big fellow, 217 pounds. Tough. James Jones, their primary running back, 236. Steve Miller, the tailback, little guy, but he can scoop. Spencer Jackson a top pass receiver at the flanker position. Broughton Lang is the split end. He's also small but he's also very very quick. So here come the Gators up for the first offensive play of the day. They play on real grass here in the Gator Bowl in Jacksonville. And Peace goes straight back. Sets up and goes over the middle with it. The pass is complete to the fullback coming out of the backfield James Jones. He runs for a first down out to about the 37. He picked up 13 yards. Up front, Dan Plonk is 251 a tackle. Can't Ryan Frazier, a guard at 240 pounds. The center is Phil Bromley, 228. Buddy Schulteis at 256 pounds a guard. Danny Fike a tackle at 274. And the tight end is Mike Malarkey, 242. They're big enough, but they're very young. First down from the 37. It goes outside to the tailback. Miller. And Miller can't get much around the corner. He picks up about three. Defensively for the University of Georgia. They line up this way up front. It is Dale Carver, Jimmy Payne, Eddie Weaver, Tim Crow, Freddie Gilbert. Linebackers Nate Taylor, Tommy Thurston. The defensive secondary, Ron Harris, coming out of San Diego Junior College. Mesa. Very good player. Dale Williams, Steve Kelly, and Tim Bobo. Harris has been a particularly important personality in the Georgia defensive secondary. It is second down and about six. Give him the better part of four yards on the carry, and Peace goes back to throw. Straight back. Gets it off over the middle. The pass caught for the fullback. Close to the first down, out around the 47. One thing we talked about was Peace's ability to scramble. He is big and strong. The coaches say, Keith, he could play linebacker, which means he is tough. On that pass, he got out of the rush, completed for a near first down, just a few inches. For those of you who have been watching Nebraska, Oklahoma State, welcome to the Gator Bowl in Jacksonville. Keith Jackson, Frank Broyles, and Steve Davis. We are now in the first offensive series of the ball game, Florida, on third down and a half a yard. Janelle Brown is in it, full house backfield. They go to the big fullback, Jones, and Jones takes it down to the Georgia 48, and it's first down, Florida. No score, first quarter of play with 13.08 to go. 
Florida on these this first possession has been very impressive Keith first play of the ball game a completed pass a good run another completed pass they've got Georgia a little bit on the a little bit nervous I would imagine the Georgia folks their team favored in this ball game not by a lot but favored nonetheless are nervous to see you and I here and our ABC people here because everywhere we've been lately we've had upset it goes outside the middle he's caught behind the line of scrimmage on a fine defensive play by Freddie Gilbert the defensive right in we should mention that Georgia's defense is outstanding ranked second in the nation against the run There's front four of probably one of the best groups in America. The loss is back to the 49 where it is second down at about 11 and a half. You see the numbers on the Georgia defensive bunch. They have indeed been tough and they're blitzing this time. Peace gets it off a little pop play to his tight end Malarkey and Mike carries the ball down to the Georgia 42. He's going to need four yards for the first down. Peace reacted beautifully. He saw the blitz. He very wisely adjusted his pass pattern just as Malarkey did to a little quick over the line completion. Buck Ballou, of course, the Georgia quarterback, loosening up on the sidelines, awaiting his chance. Peace is only a sophomore, and his numbers reflected there on the season. He's outstanding, big, strong quarterback. He goes straight back. He puts it up, and the pass is incomplete. Over on the sidelines, you see that the pass was intended for Spencer Jackson, but he was well, truly well covered by Ronnie Harris. The break for Florida, Keith. Joe Hicks is the referee. Butch Lambert, the umpire. Joe Stevenson, the linesman. Tommy Lorino, line judge. Field judge Bill Stanton. Nick Warney is the back judge. Watching Joe Hicks, the referee, and waiting for the call. Sometimes when you're trying to blitz, you get over anxious, and the defense can jump off sides. Defensive team, all sides. So, as Frank said, a break for Florida as the ball is moved down to the Georgia 37. Charlie Pell on the sidelines, came here from Clemson, was winless his first year. His second year, he went to a bowl game. First time anybody's ever done that. Chris Faulkner is now in at tight end, a very talented big fella who has been hurt much of the season for the Gators. Peace gets it off, hooking it back the other way, and the pass is incomplete. The pass intended for James Jones out of the backfield and Will Fort's a linebacker had dropped back to cover him and almost picked that thing off. He certainly did. It was across the green pattern, which is very dangerous. Rolling to the right, throwing back across. The linebackers had good break on the ball. As we look at Charlie Pell, just a tremendous football coach. He's turned this Florida program all the way around. Bit of an unusual formation there, and they're going right back now. Not quite the same this time. But you got double wide to the top. Yeah, they do. They. Got one remaining back, and he, in a sense, is a slot back, which obviously reads pass all the way. Peace gets it off over the middle. The pass is complete. Down to the Georgia 21, and Steve Miller, who had shifted out of the tailback into a wingback position, made the catch. Keith, it's a very interesting story on Steve Miller. He wrote the Florida coaches this summer. He wanted to walk on. He still doesn't have a scholarship, but we're in the eighth game of the season, and he's now starting and playing a key role. You can see him at the bottom of the screen. He's lined up at wing back. He's working man for man on a linebacker, and you can see he's got one step right there at good throw. Number 60 Thurston could not make the play. First down at the Georgia 19, and pressure on Peace. He's shirt-tailed. He gets away. He's a big, strong kid. Georgia sacks him. Jimmy Payne was the man that grabbed him by the arm, and Freddie Gilbert is the man that put him down for the Bulldogs. It's a loss of 12 yards. Georgia has a great defensive line that is excellent at rushing the pass. So Payne and Gilbert are truly outstanding. One 6'5", and the other one 6'4", has great speed. The ball is marked outside the Georgia 31 now as the Gators suffer a big loss. It is second down 22. Georgia in the red, Florida in the white. Peace getting good protection. His pass is away. His pass is 
come play. No, it isn't. Let's see. No. Yes, it is. No. Nope. They waved it off. They said no. Faulkner couldn't control it as he came down with it, trying to make a acrobatic effort out of it. The ball, if it had been on target with something on it, it would have been a touchdown. Faulkner, number 80, the tight end's going right down the middle. Remember that Georgia's in a too deep secondary, no safety man. You can see how wide open Faulkner is. And the ball is just a little bit long. Let's see if we can tell. Nope. I don't know. That's, that's <laughs> just close. a tough call. Well, it was a tough call. So it is third down and 22 as Peace comes back. Getting pressure. He's sacked behind the line of scrimmage. Jimmy Payne, a junior out of Athens, did it. The defensive right tackle, 6'4", 243, and the ball moves all the way back now outside the Georgia 40. One thing that Georgia's going to try to do is rush Payne from one side, Gilbert from the other. Both have excellent speed, forcing Florida's defensive tackles to try to block them. I believe that Georgia will outquick Florida's offensive tackles. Both teams have outstanding kicking games. Joe Borakevich. A senior out of Willingboro, New Jersey, back in punt formation. And Steve Kelly, the deep man for Georgia, the kick is away. A hanger. Florida's got good coverage downfield. It takes a Georgia bounce, and it'll be marked inside the 15. So the Georgia defense does its job. As they turn away, the Florida Gators in their first possession. Next, we'll see Georgia with the ball. Please drink responsibly. Should a man over 50 take the same multivitamin as a woman? I don't think so. Now there's new one-a-day men's 50-plus advantage, the only complete multivitamin with support for prostate and heart health, plus more ginkgo for memory and concentration. Oh. New from one-a-day. Sure, fat head is super realistic and, and massive, but to me, it's it's a little more than that. To me, a fat head is an athletic performance that is immortalized for all time, longer even. And I'm, I'm not saying that I have superpowers, but I'm the one immortalizing it. So I wouldn't say superpowers, but at least the power to grant everlasting life. Real big fathead. The biggest players, the biggest moments. Never look so real. Get yours today at fathead.com. This week on E60. What's different about this story is that the Matador was 14 years old. Who is the real Chad Johnson? Sexy is my game. My game on the field as a whole. E60. Tuesday at 7 on ESPN. If it's in the world of football, it's in the Blitz. Highlights, analysis, post-game news conferences. The Blitz, Sunday starting at 1, only on ESPN News. They shoot, they score with an ESPN Classic Weekend Marathon. Every weekend, Classic picks one sport. Touchdown! and runs with it for a full day of classic action. From shooting stars to classic cars, 10 pins to last second wins. I don't believe it! Believe it! This weekend on ESPN Classic, catch the NBA season opening shootout marathon, Sunday, 1 p.m. And remember, the ESPN NBA season begins Wednesday, October 31st. The Florida Gators come up on the football now. First down at their own 23 and no score. Wayne P, 6 out of 13 so far in his passing. Stands up with that quick pop, goes sharply with it, and the pass works to Lang, and Lang is up around the 34, and may well have a first down. Broughton Lang is only 5'7", 166, sophomore out of Miami, but he sure is quick. One of those ball cones that makes good. This ball cone two years ago. Passes away, pass good to Miller. Miller is uh, on the chalk at the 39. He got five. What we're seeing is Georgia blitzing again. They found that they need to add the blitz to their regular four-man rush. They had eight people coming. No one was covering Miller, releasing out of the backfield. 
fellow who made the play in the secondary is Terry Hogue, a sophomore out of Huntsville, Texas. And Hogue made a very big play for Georgia in the Sugar Bowl game against Notre Dame last year as a freshman. Second down and five. He puts it up, laying downfield too long. Lang never had a chance. Peace had to throw the ball before he wanted to, Keith, because the blitz, once again, was on, knowing that he's not going to have a great deal of time. He tried to lay it up very high and let Lang run under it, but it was a bad throw. With a three-step drop, though, you're not going to have a lot of time no. for a team like Jordan. No, you know, he was going to fake the quick and let the receiver fake and then go deep, but it didn't work. On third and five. Going to run it with Jones. James Jones is across the 45 to the 46, and that's a Gator first down. So James Jones at 6'3", 236 from Pompano Beach keeps the Gators moving. Jamie Jones has a 5.6-yard average per rush. He has been Florida's rushing game. At one reason that looks so bright <laughs> the orange color isn't that bright and the sun's still shining on about a half of the Gator Bowl whistle stop it ball is at the 46 of Florida Georgia calls the timeout you have five minutes and 40 seconds to play in the first half the defenses have dominated the football game so far with 540 to play no score Fred Flintstone, an employee of Slate Rock Gravel Company, his wife Wilma, a stay-at-home mom. Yet on this working man's salary, how did Wilma afford a necklace made of huge rocks? Mr. Slate pays well, but he doesn't pay that well. An investigation would reveal that Fred had the Flintmobile insured with Geico, saving the couple untold amounts of money. Their friendship with the Rubbles would soon become strained. Geico. 15 minutes could save you 15% or more on car insurance. From the game's pioneers to the best teams ever. All month long, ESPN Classic is bringing you the games with the greatest moments in NBA history. Wednesdays at 10, the sports guy, ESPN's Bill Simmons, picks his favorite NBA games of all time. Heaven must be like this. Marquee matchups, iconic players, the best we've ever seen. Let's see that again. ESPN Classic's NBA Game of the Week, 10 p.m. Wednesdays, only on ESPN Classic. Hey folks, Levin Holloman here at Butler Toyota, and I wanted to show you our newest vehicle we've got. This is the new 2008 Highlander. This vehicle's got a V6 motor with 270 horsepower, and nobody's got them yet. We've got 18 of them. We got a special allocation. We went out and got a bunch from Toyota because we knew this vehicle was gonna be so hot and so popular. You can buy it for in the mid-20s. Remember, only at Butler Toyota is it better price, better selection. You better get to Butler. Struggling with credit card debt? Is it difficult just making your minimum payments? Tired of the harassing calls? If you're in substantial credit card debt and need help, call now and settle your accounts for less than you owe. Call the Hermosa Group today to find out how you can quickly and easily eliminate your debt for less than you owe. Life can be better. Call the Hermosa Group now. Get a low monthly payment that fits your budget. Call now. The numbers reflected there, Frank, amplify what you, the point you made at the very beginning of today's telecast. Yeah, if you cannot mix it up against a team like Georgia, you got very little chance because they're too effective rushing the passer with no running threat. First down, Florida at their own 46. This time a deeper drop by Peace goes down the middle with it. He's got Miller out there. He's got the ball. He's gone. Touchdown, Gators. out to go for the extra point for the Florida Gators as Tim Bobo got burned by Miller coming out of that wingbacks position the kick 
is good. At five minutes and 31 seconds to play in the first half, the Florida Gators strike through the air for the touchdown. Keith, isn't that a great story with Miller being a walk-on, starting his first ball game today, getting in behind the strong safety. One thing Bill Lewis, the defensive coordinator, told me is he hopes that he can keep Bobo back deep. He knows he doesn't have the speed to cover Miller. It's a man-for-man -man situation, and you can see how far in behind Miller, number 20, gets to walk on this year, playing in his first season at Florida, gets in behind Bobo, number 32. It's a blitz, man-for-man -man coverage, but Peace looks down the middle and finally just lays it up. Look at that call. Isn't that beautiful? Just lays it right in the bread basket for the touchdown. That's goes, a happy young man. It goes 54 yards, and the Florida Gators break out in front by a score of 7 to nothing. There's a happy coach, Charlie Pell. Clark to kick it off. The deep people for Georgia are Lindsey Scott and Herschel Walker. Double trouble back there to return the kick. Knuckleball. Walker lets it go right through his hands. He's got to cover it in the end zone. No, he doesn't have to run it out. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Tim Newton was down there. He did not have to run it out. No, the impetus to put the ball in the end zone was supplied by the kick, not by Herschel. You can see the ball is bouncing, and Herschel did not apply the impetus. The ball, the kick, takes it in the end zone. He has to go back and return it. Recover, I mean, to cover, cover, it. cover it, I mean. But he doesn't have to get it out of the end zone. It would have been George's ball on the 20 had he been alert. Last two, three possessions for Georgia. Their own two, their own eight, and now again, their own two. And Ballou gives the ball off inside. Fumble! Ronnie Stewart fumbled it, and Florida's got it at the Georgia five. One of the big guys in the middle came up with a football. Let's see if we can find him. Whoever he did, Keith, he knocked his net ball right out of there. That's what we call a contact fumble. I believe it was Jackson, yep, number Jackson. 49. The ball popped right out, and I mean it popped out. Just a great tackle by Jackson, number 49. And it's first and goal to go. Florida at the Georgia 5, an eight-man front for the Georgia Bulldogs. And they go to Jones, the fullback. Breaks a tackle at the line of scrimmage. He got away from Jimmy Payne, and he goes down to the two. Well, you want to be careful when you go against Georgia on the goal line, and be sure you get an offensive headgear on every defensive player. That's all you need inside the five. You have a chance to score. If you just block all the people, just get a standstill. A tie is all you need here. Florida trying to get its second touchdown on the board in the first half. Full house backfield. Quarterback, he surges. He gets a little bit. Keep one thing that's been the problem with Florida's offense. They haven't been able to stick the ball in the end zone with regularity. They need about a foot for the touchdown. They've been stopped many, many times short of the touchdown having to go for the field goal. But they shouldn't here. Two tries to get one yard. Full house backfield again. Look for Jones to get it. No, nope, Peace keeps it. Die. He's not there. Well, if you don't get a quick signal, you're not likely to get it. None of the officials have signaled a touchdown. It is fourth and goal. You go for it. I believe he, he must go for it. This close to the goal line. If he can't put it in from the one-foot line, two tries to go one yard. As we say in coaching, we don't deserve to score. Why don't you give it to the back to go over the top? Jones is 235-pound fullback. They lined up and must be going to run left, Keith. They give it to Jones, and he's got a touchdown.
a try by Clark out of Jim Ganey's hole at 337 to go in the first half is good so the Florida Gators have threatened a couple of times they finally put one on on a 54 yard pass run play piece to Miller and Georgia turns it over to him on the five and on fourth and goal from about six inches away. They give the ball to James Jones and he breaks the play to the goal line. But Keith just is barely. Only on second effort. He was stopped short of the touchdown and he twisted, made himself narrow at the shoulders, and he penetrated the, the goal line. The Shell experts wanted to prove how easy it is to earn Shell gasoline rebates with the Shell Platinum MasterCard. It's pretty easy. With the new Shell Platinum MasterCard, you earn 5% rebates on all Shell gasoline purchases. Plus, now earn 5% rebates for 60 days on your first $2,000 in purchases everywhere else. Apply by December 31st, 2007. See your nearest Shell station or call 1-877-MY-SHELL. It's time for the ultimate football experience. High Def TV surround sound the whole nine yards and Sears makes it happen for you we have the top brands sales professionals to guide your way and value outstanding value like right now buy any HDTV with your Sears card and save up to $250 or enjoy no interest for up to 24 months it's your call plus add a high def DVD player or an audio system score free delivery and don't stop there. Go to Sears.com slash football, print out this coupon, and tack on a free universal remote. If you need installation, we can tackle that too. So win big with great savings and a whole lot more. This season, make every game a home game. Sears, where it begins. I lost my memory. Just remember this. Samantha Who is the number one comedy on television. Yay! 16 million people watched. I am a big damn deal. Yes, you are, and remember that. I, I, I remember. Because there's lots of things you can forget. I don't remember sex. You're a virgin! Just don't forget to watch the season's best new comedy. I'm a virgin. Yes, ma'am. And I'm a pirate. Justina Applegate stars in Samantha Who, all new tonight, right after Dancing with the Stars on ABC. They went from total zeros to baseball heroes. How bad for has been in a couple of never will be. Charlie Sheen and Wesley Snipes in a Real Classics presentation, Major League. 8 Eastern Sunday on ESPN Classic. Tonight on ESPN Classic, at 8, Miranda versus Eastman, a title eliminator from 2006. At 9, Eddie up for the World Series of Poker. And at 10, who's number one counts down the greatest game sevens? It's all tonight on ESPN Classic. The ESPN College Football Game of the Week, 9 a.m. Sundays on ESPN Classic. Mark is ready to kick it off to Walker and Scott. Goes toward Walker, and it's hooked out of bounds. And to recapitulate for just a moment on what happened to Georgia in that last kickoff, Walker had the ball go through his hands. The ball was in the end zone. If he had covered the ball, they would have had it at the 20. Instead, he tried to run it out. He got to the 2. And then they fumbled it. Stewart did. And that's what happened. Duke winning today over the Deacons. So they'll penalize Florida five yards, bring it back to the 35, and re-kick it. Stunning, beautiful day. Almost no wind at all. Temperature, middle 70s. Clark will kick it from the 35 with the Goodyear Blimp Enterprise sailing overhead. Billy Sullivan and Lee Burton up there providing the picture for you. Clark's kick. Good one. It is Walker, a yard deep in the end zone. He's a skater. You see him change directions, keeping those feet low, steps short. And he runs it up to about the 29. But Keith, looking, ahe looking ahead about Georgia's offense, they've made very little running and very little passing so far. But Ballou certainly doesn't want to come out and just throw the ball recklessly. Very careful when he puts the ball in the air right now and go in the half no more than 14 to nothing behind. He's going to roll it and throw it. He goes short with it to Stewart coming out of the backfield. He, if he'd had the time, 
to look on downfield, he would have seen a red shirt, Lon Buckler, breaking free on a fly. Keith, that's the third time that I've seen Georgia receivers get in behind the Florida secondary, but uh, Ballou has not been able to spot him. Well, it's not easy with folks no. like Fisher and Jones and Galloway pounding at you either. And Marshall, Wilma Marshall. <laughs> yes. Watch him, the bottom of your screen. He's something else. Walker takes a head-on belt. Galloway hit him head-on, and then help came. But you could hear it up here. The bottle of soda pop <laughs> wiggled when they collided head-on. Galloway at 274, Walker at about 225. Dolly Pell. Thinking, planning, strategy of what he's going to tell his football team at halftime. Keep their poise. Still 30 minutes left to play after this two, two minutes and 53 seconds left in this quarter. Third and seven from the 33 of Georgia. Ballou. Oh, down he goes. They blitzed him. It's Wilbur Marshall. The first time the Gators have gotten the Georgia quarterback, and Ballou never had a chance. Well, Wilbur Marshall has had 20 tackles this season for loss seven sacks that ties the record this is two for this ball game makes it 22 behind the line that's a Florida career re record for one season and Georgia's got to kick it away on fourth and long Broadway is in Curry is beat for the Gators Georgia trailing 14 to nothing can't get the offense going put some pressure on and Broadway nails it and Curry back at his 28 nothing but red shirts around him and he's down on the 30. That was a 49 yard punt by Broadway. This is what we'll have for you at halftime as we talk with both coaches. We'll have some highlights of the first half and also highlights of Clemson North Carolina Pitt Rutgers plus the news and scores. Well, Charlie Pell and his coaching staff were quite willing to suggest this is the one of their major tests for credibility of their young people. They are young, especially in the offensive front. So far, they've held up well, especially the defensive unit as Jones carries the ball around left end for two. Keith, in fact, the offense and defense is sprinkled with sophomores and freshmen. They are starting three freshmen Florida is in this ball game today. In fact, Galloway, number 85 on defense, is the only senior starting. If you look at Vince Dooley, who's got to be really concerned right now as how he can turn things around and get some mo momentum. Come on, Second down and eight. Draw on a delay. It goes to Jones. Jones is dropped by Eddie Weaver, number 61. Lost a yard, that'll back him up. Florida will be very careful on third down and long. If they throw it, they're going to throw something to be very safe. Let the receiver catch it and run with it for the first down if possible. Deep drop by Peace. They run him out of there. That is the fourth time Georgia has dropped the Florida quarterback. It was Freddie Gilbert, number 90. He says uh, lost 31 yards so far in the four sacks in the ball game. They're getting to him, but he burned them one time. Time call by Georgia with one minute and 17 seconds to play in the first half. 14 nothing Florida. Are you one of the millions of people who think you just can't learn a new language? The problem isn't that you can't learn, it's that you've been using the wrong method. Well, thanks to our breakthrough software called Rosetta Stone, learning a new language is now incredibly easy and a whole lot faster. I've probably learned more in the first two weeks than I have in months of taking formal classes. Unlike traditional methods that require hours of tedious translation and memorization, with Rosetta Stone, you're actively engaged in each lesson from the very beginning, you'll see real-life images and hear native speakers. El caballo corre. This powerful combination teaches you to think in a new language, not memorize. So speaking comes naturally. You'll learn far more easily and more quickly. I've used a lot of different mediums, the books, uh, the tapes, um, and it just 
Bar none, it's, it's the best one that I've ever used. I was one of those people who thought they could not learn a language, and I needed to learn a language for my job, so I needed to learn Spanish, and I learned Spanish quickly, and I did it through Rosetta Stone. Rosetta Stone is so fast and effective, it's used by the U.S. State Department, NASA, the U.S. Army, and Fortune 500 companies, and is the world's leading language learning software. It's almost like having your own person there teaching you, your own private tutor, who is just very relaxed in your home with you, sitting there teaching you the language. Rosetta Stone is the fastest way to learn a new language. And to prove it, we'll send you our amazing demo CD absolutely free when you call. There's no obligation to buy. Right away, you'll see for yourself just how fast and easy it is to learn a new language with Rosetta Stone. This really is a great program. I believe that you can learn any language with this program. If you're serious about learning a language, there's no easier way to do it than with Rosetta Stone. Call the number on your screen now and see for yourself why Rosetta Stone is the fastest way to learn a language guaranteed. It's back. Oh, look at that! The legendary American Gladiator. Sweet night, 7 Eastern, 10 Pacific on ESPN Classic. So Herschel has not broken a big play today as the Florida defense has just been a wild bunch. Florida can play the run just about as effectively as anybody I know in America. Here's the punt now by Bordokevich. No pressure on him. He gets it out of there. And a fair catch is called for the Georgia Bulldogs. Back at the 32 with Jimmy Harrell coming downfield to make the catch after a 39-yard punt. But good hang time on it, and Florida had good coverage forcing the fair catch. So the Bulldogs with a minute and 10 left on the clock in the first half, down by two touchdowns, 14 to nothing. We'll see what they can do from their own 32. Buckler has been the man that's been open quite a bit on the pass patterns. They go short over the middle to Walker coming out of the backfield, and Herschel is up to the 41, 42, as Fernando Jackson again makes the play. Looks like, Frank, that uh, Fernando has been said, wherever 34 goes, you go after him. Well, that's not unreasonable to say that. I, I think that's what he does is just key right on Walker. I would. I'd put him right on him every play. Ballou to put it up again. He throws to Norris Brown. Brown had his hands on it, took a wicked hit from Tony Lilly, and couldn't hang on, and Brown is shaken up. One thing the safety man is supposed to do, if they throw that tight end, you're supposed to make him pay for it. You're going to see a perfect illustration. Brown is vulnerable. He's up in the air, and you can see that he gets hit from the side, and the ball pops out incomplete. And that hurts. You're hanging out there like the laundry when they nail you on that kind of a play because your body is extended and you're just fair game. Ballou now is four out of nine for only 31 yards passing. And the numbers on Herschel Walker here in the first half are 16 carries for 67 yards. He has not been held under 100 yards this season. The comparison numbers of the two quarterbacks as uh, Brown gets up and runs off the field. You see that Peace has gone for 141 yards and a touchdown. Well, and looking at Buck Ballou's passing record, you would say that's not bad if Walker's running up and down the field. The Georgia offense is moving the ball on the ground, but since they're not moving on the ground, that is going to get them in trouble if they don't improve. Second down and 10. Ballou. He goes deep to the right side, and the pass is caught. The pass is caught by Scott Williams. The Florida defensive man fell down trying to stay with him. And if he had not gone out of bounds, he'd have scored. He, he was all the way behind the Florida secondary. You can see it's a throwback pattern. And uh, Williams, Williams Scott Williams, is going right out the line of scrimmage and down the field. Number 30. You can see that uh, 93 Wigman is trying to cover him. Excuse me, I mean, Johnson, I'm sorry, is trying to cover the defensive end. This time, Williams can't quite hang on. He got one hand on it, but he couldn't get the handle, and so it falls incomplete. And uh, the other linebacker, Jackson, had dropped off the cover in the short zone. Well, what they're trying to do now is to get those uh, quick people out there one-on-one -on -one with linebackers. Johnson is six foot three and weighs 225 pounds, and he was covering the tight end all the way down the field, and he tripped, and uh, the pass was completed. 
The ball is sitting at the Florida 24. Second down and 10 for Georgia. 40 seconds to play in the first half. Pass short. Pass complete to Lindsey Scott. No, it's Herschel Walker. And Walker! Touchdown! Marshall Walker circles out of the backfield and takes it into the corner and the Bulldogs are on the board with 31 seconds to play in the first half. Kevin Butler for the extra point try. Broadway the punter puts it down. Butler hits it and the freshman from Stone Mountain drills it. Keith, that was this perfect illustration of poise by the quarterback waiting you watch Ballou, he's going to look downfield, wait for the receivers to push the linebackers and the backs deep. Walker circles right out of the backfield. Then his 9-2 speed gets him into the end zone. Watch him. He slows down, gives a little inside fake, then turns on the speed. Curry, number 26, might have a chance. No, he can't get him. Finally, Lily, number 36, misses him. Cannot stop him from scoring. Boy, that is a tremendous break for Georgia put those points as we look at Herschel Walker Keith that's mentally that's more than seven points going into the half instead of trailing 14 nothing they're back in the ball game Here's one other thing that sticks out Frank is that Buck Ballou on that drive hit three out of five passes for 68 yards he's not particularly known for a type of quarterback that comes from behind he's more of a play action pass mixing up when they have good running it's resting on his shoulders so we're closing down on the end of the first half with a ball game on our hands. Georgia will kick it off to Florida. And Lorenzo Hampton, number seven, is the deep man for the Gators. Oh, that Butler's got some leg. He knocks it way back in the end zone, and Hampton will have nothing to do with it. It'll come back to the 20. Butler has kicked off 53 times so far this season and 38 of those kicks have not been returned. That's what I mean about that young man having a leg and being just a freshman too. Well they've got pretty good scuffle going on don't they between the Buckeyes and the Golden Gophers. Hmm. All right let's see what Florida will do with it. 31 seconds to play they're going to run out the clock. Most of that hooting, I think, probably coming from the folks wearing <laughs> red. They would like for Florida to take some chances and give Georgia another scoring opportunity. Florida very wisely will sit on it, go out to the half with a 14 to 7 lead. Steve Davis is going to be talking with uh, Charlie Pell just as soon as time runs out, and you can see the clock winding it off now. First half is over. And at halftime, it's a 14 to 7 Florida lead. And here's Steve. Coach, you've got to be pleased with everything that happened that first half except the last drive. Well, they got some big plays. We got some big plays. It's the type of game we knew it would be. We just got to hold on for about 75 more plays. That's going to be hard. Coach, what are you going to tell your kids at halftime? Play one game at a time, five seconds long. We got about 70 of them to go. Okay, Coach. Thank you very much. Fruits of big banking. This wobbly table is driving me mad. Good afternoon. I've got a great business plan to make next year even more yeah. profitable. It's a small business owner. So. He probably wants a loan, well but I've got a better idea. What about my business plan? Oh. Ah. That's it. Perfect. He is good for something after all. Does your bank think small about your small business? Call Capital One instead for no hassle business loans, lines of credit, and credit cards. Check your mailbox. Hello, Capital One. I want a loan. I want a loan. <laughs> What's in your wallet? The quest for the ultimate prize of European football continues with match day three of the UEFA Champions League on ESPN2. We head to Scotland where the rough and rugged Rangers are in action against the legendary club Barcelona. The most celebrated football club competition continues from Europe. 
Rangers Barcelona live Tuesday the UEFA Champions League on ESPN2 on Cox Digital Cable, the most daring, compelling, and critically acclaimed shows are now on Showtime. There's a bold new leader in premium television. I'm the king of England! So come and experience the ultimate in commercial-free, uncut, total entertainment. I know what you do. America's hottest premium network is Showtime on Cox Digital Cable. Call now to order. Are the credit card bills closing in on you? Shouldn't this be the year you get a fresh start? Well, now you can settle your debts with dignity and without bankruptcy. Get the professional help of the Debt Reduction Law Center and get a fresh start. I just sign up. They do all the real work. The Debt Reduction Law Center uses the power of legal professionals to settle your debts. We'll get you an affordable monthly payment. And settle your debt so you'll have hundreds more each month. For a free consultation, call 800-277-1380. From the 22 for Georgia. First down, Bulldogs. They trail by seven. Herschel Walker has the ball. And he's got about a yard, and that's going to get him back to 3,000. A while ago, when he lost a yard, that took him back under 3,000. 29.99, and it looks to me like he got a yard there. Keith, I should point out, I worked in this game last year. Georgia had somewhat the same situation. They were trailing. They tried to rely entirely, entirely. As we look at Bill Lewis talking to the defense, on Herschel Walker. They couldn't do it. They've got to go to pass. Safety up in there and hurry on three. Second down and about nine. I think they'll give Walker a yard on that carry. He's got it again. Up the middle, he blows it. Whoa, boy. Out across the 35 to near the 38. And his feet are taken from under him by Vito McKeever. And that's the only thing that stopped him from going all the way. That's what they would like to see is Herschel run for the touchdown, long run. It was the lead draw, the only play that he's made any consistent yardage with. So far as he has 90 yards, so two and a half quarters. It's about the 37. Call it there. Got it again. They're riding the big horse. The Florida defense turns him inside after about a yard on that carry. Fernando Jackson over there. And so was number 51, Tim Newton. One thing that the opposing teams have been doing to Walker, Keith, the three coaches told me that this weekend they're tackling him very low. Last year, the defensive backs tried to tackle him high. He ran over him. Now they're trying to tackle him right at the ankles. Yeah, he is. You just not going to get him high. Too strong. Second down and nine. Give it a... Walker again, he goes up the middle, he crosses the 40 to the 44. They need three for the first down, looking at the scores that are complete now, since we are the late game, number one Pittsburgh coming from behind. They trail 3 nothing, but then they rolled. Southern California at halftime, only seven over California. And number three, Clemson, a narrow 10 to 8 victory over North Carolina today at Chapel Hill. Penn State beat North Carolina State by seven. The ball with Ballou. Ballou looks for Scott and lost it downfield. Scott banged into one of the Florida defenders, had no chance to get to the ball. He and Vito McKeever were bumping numbers downfield. You, we ought to watch what happens to Scott. McKeever's going to collision him 10 yards downfield. Watch it. Scott would run right by him, but McKeever collisions him. Gives him a chance to get back even with him, and the ball was way overthrown. I think that's legal as long as the receiver is in front of the defensive back. And uh, Ballou, seeing the problem he was in, just unloaded it to save the yardage rather than get sacked, and now it's fourth down to punt from Broadway. And he's got it off. It's a high one, not very long. And out of bounds. Well, Florida gets the ball, first down at its 27. So they get pretty good field position after a 33-yard punt. Moon is up now in Jacksonville. It's been a glorious day and a very mild evening. And the Florida Gators leading. Give the ball off to number 20, the fullback Steve Miller. Miller gets it across the 30. He gained three yards on that carry. One thing that the Georgia defense is very capable of doing is forcing a fumble or interception. They've had a couple of near interceptions already in the ball game earlier. Georgia defense has got to get their offense some good field position. Looks like Jerry Faust getting the Fighting Irish rolling along now. And there's a big score out of the Big Ten. 
Second down and seven for Florida from the 30. That's James Jones, the big fullback, to the 33. They need four more. Iowa beating Purdue. Hayden Bryant getting his offense rolling today. His offense has been very quiet the last couple of weeks. But the Hawks got it going today. And Wisconsin rolling again today. And that sets up next week in a ball game at Camp Randall Stadium in uh, Madison, Wisconsin. And Northwestern now is possessor of 29 consecutive losses. That's an NCAA record. Third down four. Russell stops it. Time called by the Gators of Florida as Wayne Peace, number 15, goes quickly to the sidelines to talk to the coaches. We've got a timeout. Florida leads by seven. They say a man should always dress for the job he wants. So why am I dressed up like a pirate in this restaurant? It's all because some hacker stole my identity. Now I'm in here every evening serving chowder and iced tea. Should have gone to freecreditreport.com. I could have seen this coming at me like an atom bomb. They monitor your credit and send you email alerts so you don't end up selling fish to tourists in t-shirts. Offer applies with enrollment and triple advantage. Headaches, dizzy spells, bouts of irregularity. You may be having an electronics breakdown. Don't wait till you get to the end of your rope. Get help from Reta Center. Our worry-free guarantee means we'll match any competitor's price on new brand name merchandise. No credit card debt, no credit needed, no extra charge for delivery, setup, or service. And we promise you'll love it or your money back. Relief is at hand with Reta Center. We make it easy to make it your own. Look what happened to your home phone bill. All right, just in time to see the act. That low promotional rate you signed up for has disappeared. It's called the shell game, and the phone and cable companies think they can get away with it. Now you can save up to $300 a year on your phone bill. How? Vonage! Did your phone rate start here and keep going up? With Vonage, your rate starts low and stays low. Awesome service. I can take you where I want to. I can call internationally. I'm saving money by just having the phone line through them versus bundling. Plus, free calls to Europe and international rates as low as a penny a minute. And 25 premium features, all for just $24.99 a month. Enjoy crystal clear digital sound quality using your high-speed internet connection. Try Vonage for 60 days risk-free. Call 1-800-425-6502. That's 1-800-425-6502 today. Here are the comparison of the two quarterbacks in the ball game. Ballou has been very quiet except for that one drive right before the half, which was a thing of beauty, 68 of the 89 yards. Third down and the long three for Florida. Each on is trying to set up the screen, but Miller doesn't work. Number 91, Tim Crow, came untouched. The senior out of Stone Mountain, and Peace just had to get rid of it. But there was a red shirt between him and Miller, and he had to lob it, and it didn't work. And so Florida will have to kick it. Tim Crow, real steady football player, number 91, playing right opposite uh, Meet Cleaver Weebo. Which means he's been busy. Yes. Pretty good kick there by Wolokevich. Jimmy Harrow. Down he goes. Up at the 21. 51 yard punt. Good one. The kicking game has really been important so far in the ball game. Southern Mississippi has won the championship of uh, Mississippi. They are undefeated. They had that 13 13 tie with Alabama and they get. They have the privilege of playing uh, the Seminoles of Florida State. They lost today to Miami. They'll be a little surly. That, that's a tough little team down there at Southern Mississippi. Here's Herschel Walker looking for some daylight, and he isn't going to find it. He runs into Wilbur Marshall, and Wilbur wins the wrestling match. Wilbur Marshall is the great sophomore defensive end, was a tight end last year, but he has such quick feet. Watch his quick feet. Marshall, number 88. He's taking on the tight end. He keeps the leverage. That's the thing that you want to do. Watch those quick feet. He's a sprinter in track. Now he's balanced, and he just mirrors Walker and throws him right to the ground. 225 pounds. Wilbur Marshall leads the team in tackles and sacks. And the loss of a yard there. 
Second down, 11 from the 20 for Georgia. Herschel. Outside he goes, disappears into the crowd on the Florida sideline. Kansas beat Iowa State 24 to 11. So the Hawkeyes just sort of ran out of gas here in the late going with Oklahoma coming back for a win by seven. And Duke beating Wake Forest. Chuck Look Howard, a smile of four feet wide. This is that is Duke's fifth win of the season. Yep. Five four records so far. Tough season for Doug Fairbanks. Chuck Fairbanks and uh, his bunch. Here's the pass thrown to the short man in the middle. And the pass is completed. It is Norris Brown, the tight end, dragging across the middle. And Buck Ballou threw a heck of a pass to get that ball into his hand, didn't he? Yes, he did. Ballou was reading the strong safety. He has two powder, two receivers. Scott outside, Brown inside. He chose Brown very wisely, puts it right on the money, and Georgia is moving with a first down. And once again, it Aaron, is a Ballou pass that does it. You can see the ball was low, right on the target, right at belt buckle. Perfect throw. Walker steps his way through there. Goes from the 45 down near the Florida 45. He may be just short of his first down. He has now carried the ball 26 times for 110 yards, and it's the 16th time in his career that he has gained 100 yards or more in a game. And George has only lost once, I believe, when he has rushed for over 100 yards. That was in the Clemson game when they laid it on the ground nine times. They lost it nine times. Yes, they did. Five interceptions and four fumbles. Herschel had two in that ball game. Five minutes and 42 seconds to play in the third quarter, and Florida is leading by seven points. And time now finally is called by Georgia. So both teams have spent a time out here in the third quarter, each of them with two remaining. Washington State 12 7 over Oregon, and UCLA leading Washington 7 0. That's a big ball game in the Pac 10. If uh, UCLA wins it, then that sets up a USC UCLA battle at the end of the season. If Washington should win it, Southern California's got to go to Seattle next week and play up there. Here are the numbers on Herschel Walker. We were just talking about. And uh, they, this young man just continues to be remarkable. 26 rushes for 110 yards, 4.2 average, 14 to 1 is really impressive that Georgia has won when Herschel has rushed for over 100 yards. I guess based on what he did last year and uh, based on what has been happening this year for him as well as Marcus Allen of Southern California, you'd have to say these two tailbacks would have to be your prime Heisman candidates. There are others certainly and there are regional preferences that are going to take away some votes from both of them. But right now, based on what is happening for their respective teams, you'd have to guess that it's Allen and Walker in the Heisman balloting. I'm not sure what the officials came over to talk to uh, Vince Dooley about, but I would think it has something to do with timeouts. You now he's going across to uh, consult with Charlie Pell. I've had that happen many times to get some confusion as to which team was charged a timeout. Time out on me, I believe is what he's saying, Chief. It's not going to be charged to Georgia. I read his lips. He must have said that. <laughs> that was a baleful reaction <laughs> from Charlie. I don't blame him. Those timeouts can be so, so important at the end of the ball game. Charlie Bell, Charlie Pell is a tough competitor. You know that, Keith. Boy, oh, he's an intense person. There's another one of Bears boys. All right, second down and a yard for the first down. Florida sets a five-man front, and they give it to Walker. Walker going for his first down, and he's got it. No, it's not Walker. It's Stewart, the fullback, 33. Ronnie Stewart has over a six-yard average for Georgia this year because everybody is so preoccupied with what Walker is doing. He kind of sneaks through on the, on the quick hitters and made the first down. The football is sitting at the Florida 44. We've got exactly five minutes to play in the third quarter. First down is an awfully good time to throw the ball against Florida. Well, they've got a six-man front up there, and they're going to put it up. Ballou on a roll gets it away just as Marshall decks him, and the pass is completed to Lindsey Scott on the far sideline. The reason I say it's a good time to throw because Florida is in a 
base defense on first down most of the time. There's no blitz. You can see Ballou has plenty of time to find the receiver Scott open on the boundary. It's just going to be a turnout for flat pattern, 101. Wide open. All Ballou's got to do is get the ball in, and, of course, uh, Scott cradles it in as McKeever 47 makes the play. And he gets a Georgia first down at the Florida 31. Bulldogs are moving the ball here in the third quarter. They go to Walker. Walker shakes one man in the backfield. Bangs in there and gets three, maybe four, before Fernando Jackson can put him down. That was a typical illustration of Walker and how strong he is, Keith, up in the upper body. Someone hit him in the backfield for a loss, and it just didn't stop him. He went right on in for some yardage. Herschel Walker, number 34. Give him three. He now has 27 carries and 113 yards. Back it goes to Walker, and he runs into a stack down around the 26 of Florida. Ballou's pass flipped over the middle of the fullback line is Stewart. Stewart's got it big. He's down to the 12-yard line. So Buck Ballou throwing on the move as he was dropping back gets Georgia down to the Florida 12. Watch it again as you see Ronnie Stewart, number 33. He's going to fake a block just right over the line of scrimmage, and Buck gets the ball to him, and watch Stewart run for the goal line. Makes one man miss it. Makes a nice game for the first down. That Ronnie time, uh, Ronnie wrapped both arms around yes, that sir. thing. Too. Boy, well, he's thinking. That's what he should do. All he wants is keep that football. Oh, just short of the 12. They go to Herschel with it. Herschel is caught behind the line of scrimmage and brought down behind the line of scrimmage. 67, Alton Jones in on the play. Along with the nose guard, Robin Fisher. Boy, that Robin Fisher is a fine football player, Keith. I've looked at the film. He only He's only 6 feet, 240, but he runs a 4-6 in the 40-yard dash. Extreme quickness, and he has the ability to tackle the players on sweeps. Lost four, second down, and 14 from the Florida 16. Scott goes in motion. Ballou looks for him, throws toward him, hits him. He didn't hang on. Coming across is Tony Lilly to strip the ball away. You're going to watch Scott go down and break out, and you're going to see how closely he is covered. But Ballou is right on the target. I think uh, Scott holds the ball momentarily, and then he dropped his Lilly number 18, strips him free of the ball. Great play by the safety man, Lilly. Yeah, because I think uh, Lindsay had enough of a grip on it to retain it. He should have retained it. He had time to catch it, and he should have held on to it with both hands, not try to put it away. Twelfth play for Georgia. They started back on their 21. Ballou back. He puts it in the air over the middle to Herschel Walker. Walker, touchdown! Walker again <clears throat> take a block go right over the line of scrimmage but watch the run as Curry number 26 tries to hit him high Keith that's what we're talking about cannot hold him you high. cannot with Curry weighing 185 pounds you've got to tackle Walker at the ankles the kick by Butler is good two minutes and eight seconds to play in the third quarter and we are all even at 14 where do you go when you go to bed? Do you go to a place where you can find both rest for your body and peace for your mind? A place where the pressures of the day seem to just melt away? Or is it just a bed? Because if it is just a bed, we'd like to suggest another destination. Welcome to Tempur-Pedic. At Tempur-Pedic, we don't simply bring you a bed to sleep on. We bring you the promise of nighttime renewal for body and mind. At Tempur-Pedic, we believe your bed should make stress go away. Imagine feeling cushioned, enveloped, almost weightless. It's like no other bed you have ever experienced for a truly restorative, stress-free rest. Your bed should relieve your pain, not add to it. 
Thick padding and pillow tops only disguise a simple truth. A bed of metal springs with hundreds of pressure points push against your body all night. But our unique Swedish temper material is designed to take the pressure away. Your bed should always give you comfort. Our authentic temper material also adjusts to you. Soft where you want it and firm where it needs to be. And unlike traditional mattresses that can wear out and sag, a Tempur-Pedic bed will feel like a brand new bed every single night for years and years of comfort. We invite you to learn more about our science and experience our soul. Welcome to Tempur-Pedic. Welcome to bed. Every weekend, ESPN Classic brings you a full day of classic action. This weekend, catch the NBA season opening shootout marathon, Sunday, 1 p.m. And remember, the ESPN NBA season begins Wednesday, October 31st. The ESPN College Football Game of the Week, 9 a.m. Sundays on ESPN Classic. Well, it's the same old Donnybrook, isn't it? 14-14, 208 to play in the third quarter. Keith Vince Dooley was saying to his team, the Georgia-Florida game is always a 15-rounder. Yeah, <laughs> it is that. Butler will kick it off, and Hampton is the deep man. It's a high hanger. At the goal line, Hampton's coming. He cut away from uh, the wedge, and he paid for it. He gets dropped by Stan Dooley. Back around the 13. The numbers on the Georgia scoring drive. And the numbers on Herschel in there in pass receiving four for 55 his second touchdown of the day blue now is 10 out of 18 for 152 yards and responsible for the two touchdowns. Blues had tremendous pause on both of their touchdown drives. All right here come the Gators with Young flanked wide to the right out of the picture to the bottom. Ball just short of the 14 and Peace sets up the throw goes for Young and he missed it. Penalty flag thrown. Looks like it might be a holding call or an illegal use of the hands down there. Eddie Weaver's a Georgia man who pointing at one of the Florida fellas, saying, hey, he's a hold it on to my coattail. No, we've got a, we've got a uh, chop, chop block chop against block. Florida. Chop block means that while one man has contact with a defensive player, another chops him from the side. And the reason that's a penalty is very dangerous. The knees suffer in that type of block. The man got chopped was Eddie. The offense, the to the goal. You can, chop block means that one man is in contact with a defensive player, one offensive blocker, there it is, right and the there. other one, 50, Bromley, chops him right at the knee. You can see why it's a penalty. It's dangerous. Ball is back now near the five-yard line, and the Gators going to try to keep it on the ground and give it to Steve Miller. Miller gets it out to about the seven, and that's it. Again, go back to the play. Now watch on the left-hand side, number 61, Weaver, and then number 50. The, the block is illegal because Weaver is being blocked by the right guard, Schulteis, and when Bromley throws at his knee, you can see the risk of injury. The rule has just been in the book two years, Keith. And it's a good one. Second down. The ball is at the seven. They've got to go to the 24 to get a first down. They try a little string pass out of the backfield to Miller, and it's not there. And so right now, the Georgia Bulldogs would seem to have momentum in their colors, wouldn't it? They definitely do, and momentum plays such a big factor in any football game. You can see that Georgia, the way they line up, the gate by the way they take their position, they believe they're going to win this football game. Their defense can do it for them. It has in the past. Florida's tried to run the ball 30 times today, and I say try because they've only picked up 33 yards on 30 carry. Third down, and it's still about 17. He's in trouble in the end zone. Tries to throw it away. And it's a safety if he calls. Nope, he didn't do it. He let the pass be a legal pass. Jimmy Payne was the man that was climbing his wagon, and he was able to unload it. Let's look and watch Jimmy Payne and just see how he is so effective as a pass rusher. Number 87, 
right on your left of your screen. Look at his hand. Boy, was he quick. He went right by fight number 69. And you can see he's got uh, Peace in his grasp, and Peace very wisely gets rid of it to avoid the safety. I thought it was down. I did, too. I thought it was illegal grounding, which would have been a safety. Borakevich hits it out of there. Sailor, good kick. Drives Jimmy Harrow back to his own 45. He gets a little help back there, and then he is punished as he comes back to the Florida 48. 48 yard punt out of the end zone, an eight yard return at 135 to go in the third quarter. Now it is up to the Florida defense to see whether or not they can contain Georgia as the Bulldogs begin to look like they have all of their gears together. They're a complete football team. They can run, they can throw when they have to, it appears today, and their defense is outstanding. Lindsey Scott in motion. Ball is given off to Ronnie Stewart, the fullback, and he slashes over the right side for three yards. The most effective pattern that uh, Ballou has been throwing is the delayed to Stewart over the middle, coming out of the backfield, or Walker coming out of the backfield. The reason that's so, the linebackers of Florida keep the dropping so deep, they cannot come up and make the tackle. You see UCLA has jumped out now to an 11-point lead over the Washington Huskies at halftime. Second down and seven. Ballou rolls it left. He was looking for Brown, couldn't find him. He gets into the secondary, and he gets a Georgia first down. Good running by Buck Ballou down to the Florida, 32, not 13. Only, not only good running, but a great, great decision. You can watch he's going to roll to the left, and Brown is going to be covered. And he's looking for Brown, and once he sees there's a chance for an interception, he shows his poise, his confidence, his worthy all, and then he makes a nice run for the first down. Georgia's threatening again. 14-14 tie as we wind down to the end of the third quarter. Give it to Walker. Herschel over the right side. See him go down low and then leverage up as he runs into Fernando Jackson. He gets a pretty good chunk of yardage on the play. The Georgia offensive line really got some movement on that play. All across Happy and Harper and Brown made good blocks. Walker gained six, second down and four. Ball just inside the 27 of Florida. Walker runs into Wilbur Marshall at the 25, falls ahead to the 24. So the third quarter is over. A 14-14 tie. We'll continue after this commercial message and a word from our local station. With all the hundreds of credit card offers you get in the mail, how do you find the one that's best for you? It's easy at creditcards.com. In just minutes, you can get the best rate, the most cash back, the best mileage rewards. It's all here. At creditcards.com, finding a better card is quick and simple. Just select, compare, and apply. It's secure, easy, and free. So get the card you want and the credit you deserve at creditcards.com today. Sunday, only on ESPN Classic. Vaughn into the windup in his first offering. Just a bit outside. From total zeros. Oh, what the hell league you been playing in? California penal. To baseball heroes. How bad for has been in a couple of never will be. These guys are in a league all their own. What's his religion? Who do? Charlie Sheen and Wesley Snipes in a real classics presentation. Major League. 8 Eastern Sunday on ESPN Classic. Need health insurance? Think you can't afford it? Think again. Health Benefits Direct has made it easier to apply for quality health insurance online or on the phone. And you could have coverage as soon as the next day. That's right. You could have affordable major medical health insurance with no initial paperwork and without waiting weeks or months. Call or log on to Health Benefits Direct right now and speak to one of our knowledgeable licensed agents. They'll help you apply for the best coverage from some of America's most trusted, well-known, and highly rated insurance carriers. Your application is taken over the phone, then underwritten through our carrier network, so you could have coverage as soon as the next day. You could save hundreds of dollars in insurance premiums. Take advantage of this efficient and affordable way to apply for quality health insurance today. Call Health Benefits Direct. Our licensed agents are standing by to help you. Call now. We go to the fourth quarter. 
Georgia's ball. Third down, two at the Florida 24. Goodyear Blimp Enterprise out of Pompano Beach giving you the picture with Captain Werner Hamp. Cameraman Billy Sullivan and uh, Lee Burton. Third and two, double tight end. Ballou on a roll, penalty flag, penalty flag down. Thrown by the linesman, Ballou turns the corner, dives for the marker, he's close. Let's see about the penalty. It looked like the Georgia people moved a little bit. No, they didn't, it's against Florida. Okay, on the first play, it looks like it's gonna be a first down for the Georgia Bulldogs deep in Florida territory. Let's set you up very briefly now as what situation is, for example, for Georgia. Bulldogs won the national championship last year by beating Notre Dame in the Sugar Bowl. They have lost one time. They lost outside the conference to Clemson at Clemson in a game marked by turnovers and some great defensive play by the Clemson Tigers, who are still undefeated. The call by Joe Hicks coming up. Defensive team offside. The Alabama Crimson tied with one remaining conference game. Georgia has a conference game remaining with Auburn. Uh, as well so the Auburn Tigers have a chance to be a spoiler here in this Alabama Georgia situation but the Bulldogs conceivably could get back into the Super Bowl they conceivably could play a top ranked team they conceivably could repeat as the national champions but they've got to handle Florida first they give the ball to Herschel Walker on the first down from the 19 he is rolled back after he picks up a couple maybe three the numbers after three periods of play look at the stats on Georgia with 141 yards rushing and they picked up with 152 passing Florida as we said at the top of the show if they don't establish some runs they have very little chance really to stay in the ball game for 60 minutes conspicuous Georgia's passing is picked up Florida made 16 yards in the third quarter total offense 14 14 tied second down and seven for the Bulldogs as Buck Ballou rolls it out he looks downfield he drills the ball it is caught by Buckler and Buckler's inside the five first and goal to go for Georgia Keith that was a tremendous throw by Buck Ballou he's rolling to his right it's not easy to throw the ball on the hook he turns his shoulders watch him and get the ball right down low where the receiver Buckler is going to catch it cannot be intercepted and he fights for a little extra yardage it's first and goal to go for the Georgia Bulldogs on the Florida Gators four yard line 1350 to play in the fourth quarter the ball game Baloo pitches to Walker Walker had to wait for it now it gets turning around the corner he's got a touchdown So Herschel Walker, who seemed a bit tentative in his running in the early going of the ball game, has scored all three of Georgia's touchdowns, and the Bulldogs take the lead for the first time in the game. <laughs> Kevin Butler is in for the extra point try out of Jim Broadway's hold. It is no good. He hooked it. He hooked it out of the uprights. Those kind of little mistakes can sometimes haunt you. Meantime, Herschel accepting the congratulations of his teammates on the sideline. He's exactly right. Missing that extra point is could be critical. Watch the touchdown. You're going to see that Walt, that Ballou juggles the ball. The pulling guard nearly knocked it out of his hands. But then when we see Walker with speed, this is no substitute for the speed that Herschel Walker has. He just outruns and dives for the touchdown. Barely getting across. On the replay, watch Ballou fumble the ball from some of the exchange. The ball bounces right up. He catches it, very poised. He turns and still pitches it out to Walker. And Walker uses the speed that he has, something like 9 3 in the 100. Beats the Florida Gators to the corner of the flag, lowers his shoulder, and goes in for the touchdown. And footnoting further. Kevin Butler has now broken the Georgia SEC record for consecutive extra points by a team at 130. Rex Robinson had 101. Butler had added 29 without a miss. Now he is missed and the string is broken. Butler comes ahead to kick it. And he nails it way back. Almost kicked it through the uprights. 
looking ahead to Florida's offense has been very quiet. They are the numbers on the on the drive with the lose throwing. I think the real key plays making the touchdown possible. But Florida has been very ineffective running or passing since midway in the second quarter. They're going to have to get going somehow. Hey, Baloo's handling of the offense has been most impressive. Sensational. Just sensational because he was doing it when the Georgia was behind. All right, here are the Gators who were totally inept in the third quarter. Wayne Peace spins around, turns up, and nails his man in the secondary. And the play with big Chris Faulkner coming off injury at 6'5", 248, a junior from Indiana. This is one thing that Peace does real well. He fakes the trap up the middle, then raises up, lays the ball over the linebackers to Faulkner, number 80, who's one real fine athlete. As Keith mentioned, he's been hurt most of the season, and that has handicapped Florida a great deal. 27-yard pickup. The ball is now out at the 47 of Florida. First down for the Gators. And Peace on a deep drop and a roll this time. He throws. The pass is caught down around the 41 of Georgia. And again, he drilled it. Spencer Jackson, who had not seen the ball all day, suddenly curls back into one, and he got it right on the numbers. There's Buck Ballou's figures, been just sensational, showing great poise, taking Georgia from 14 to nothing deficit, got a quick touchdown after the half, and then two in the third quarter. Mark it for 42 of Georgia, first down for the Gators. Florida passing game now, beginning to consume some real estate. Here comes the blitz. Doesn't give him a chance. He just nails Lang on the sidelines very quickly for an eight-yard pickup inside the 35 to the 34. So the Gators now are trying to fight back with 12.40 to play in the ball game. They'll be looking at second down and two. Let's see if they go deep. It's a good time to go deep. You got somebody open. Don't take the loss. That's all he wants to avoid. They go on the ground to Miller. And Miller goes for the first down. At about the Georgia 31. Nate Taylor, linebacker, brought him down. Will Forch went out earlier in the ball game, and I don't know that he's been back. One thing we want to re remind the people is Butler's missed extra point looms bigger and bigger right now, Keith. Well, it was 21-20 a year ago when you had the miracle play of Baluda Scott. And it was a miracle play. I was here. Might have checked it off. Sack. Dropped behind the line of scrimmage. Guess who? Jimmy Payne, number 87. Sixth time Georgia has been able to drop the Florida quarterback. Jimmy Payne, num number 87, is the left of your screen. Peace is going to try to raise up. The guard, uh, Frazier, was trying to cut him with a, with a chop block, as we call. But uh, he couldn't do it. Payne comes right in and tackles him for a five-yard loss. Payne, number 87, having a sensational game. Loss is back to outside the 35. Second down at about 15. Uh, 14. Deeper drop. Whips one to Lang. It is incomplete. The pass knocked away by Bobo. Tim Bobo made that play. Bobo was covering, covering Lang man for man. Made a great play to prevent the completion. <laughs> Vince is showing the little strain now. Well, he should be. Boy, this is a big <laughs> ball game. Everything is on the line for this year. Everything he dreamed of, he hoped for. The conference championship, Sugar Bowl bid, possibly in a national championship. Third down, 14. Peace goes over the middle with it. He's got Lang. He's got a first down. Down at the Georgia 15. Mark it the maybe inside the 15 to the 14. That was a lot of poise. Peace is going to just dump the ball over the linebackers again. Watch Lang, number two. You can see 47. Taylor jumping up, but he couldn't touch it. And Lang cradles it in and makes the first down on the 15-yard line. Here's Lang coming underneath. Bobo could not stay with him. Taylor jumps. The ball's over his head. And uh, Lang makes the first down. 
Just inside the 15. They give the ball to Miller, and Miller goes to the 10. I tell you, that little guy whacks in there, doesn't he? He's only 5'9", 165, but he'll put it on you. If you've joined this late, he's a walk-on, scored the touchdown, just came on the campus this fall. Number 20, 5'9", 165, as we look at the numbers of Wayne Peace, the sophomore quarterback for Florida. Second down and five. The ball is at the Georgia 10. Georgia leading 20 to 14, 10 30 to play in the ball game. He stands up, lobs it toward the corner. Touchdown! Spencer Jackson. Great catch by Jackson, a poised play by Peace. The score is tied at 20. The tiebreaker is up, and it is good, and Florida is back on top, 21 to 20. With 10 minutes and 25 seconds to play in a whale of a football game in a Gator Bowl. Want a great holiday gift idea for under $15? Introducing MicroTouch Magic, the magical micro trimmer with the built-in light. It spotlights the hair and makes it disappear. Look, now you see it, now you don't. It magically goes where other trimmers can't. Embarrassing nose hair, gone like that. Unsightly ear hair, watch it disappear. Need to trim the back of your neck? With Magic, you can do it by yourself. Look. It gets as close as a blade, yet it's safe to the touch. And the super bright light lets you see what you're doing and do the job right. Sideburns straight and even. Mustaches and beards are neat and clean. And for bushy eyebrows, just snap on the grooming guide and watch them transform right before your eyes. When it looks this good, this fast, it's got to be magic. Powerful enough for the tough stuff, yet gentle even on the most sensitive skin. It looks like a magic wand, but the real magic is that you can replace all these trimmers with one that does a perfect job and it's easy to use what a great way to keep the man in your life perfectly groomed or for moms who want to keep their kids neat and clean between haircuts so put a little magic in your life with the all-new micro touch magic a $30 value for only $14.99 plus you'll receive our deluxe 10-piece grooming kit complete with every grooming tool you need to always look your best a $20 value absolutely free Yes, you get it all. The MicroTouch Magic with built-in light, plus our deluxe 10-piece travel kit, an incredible $50 value, both for only $14.99. This offer is not available in stores, so call and get yours now. To order, have your credit card ready and call 1-800-576-2420. That's 1-800-576-2420. Call now and get the MicroTouch Magic with the built-in light, plus our deluxe 10-piece travel kit for only $14.99. Don't delay. Call 1-800-576-2420. That's 1-800-576-2420. Order now. From the game's pioneers to the best teams ever. All month long, ESPN Classic is bringing you the games with the greatest moments in NBA history. Wednesdays at 10, the sports guy, ESPN's Bill Simmons, picks his favorite NBA games of all time. Heaven must be like this. Marquee matchups, iconic players, the best we've ever seen. Let's see that again. ESPN Classic's NBA Game of the Week, 10 p.m. Wednesdays, only on ESPN Classic. Well, the old burner just got hot again, didn't it? <laughs> oh, my goodness. Just when it looked like Georgia might take control of it. Bang, bang, bang. Back comes Peace, 80 yards. He hits five out of six passes for 77 yards and a terrific catch by Jackson. And here's the kickoff. Benji Scott drops it. Picks it up. Now he's looking for some help. Gets a little bit of help. And finally, he is put down at the 18. And let's go back to the touchdown. This could be the biggest pass that Wayne Peace has ever thrown in his life. It's perfect, what we call a fade pattern. The receiver just fades to the outside. Let's see if it's a legal pass. Yes, Jackson comes down with it with his left foot in bounds. Here's Jackson again. He's going to fake. Williams, number nine, is playing him man for man. It's a fade pattern. The quarterback just lays it over his shoulder towards the boundary. A beautiful play. Just beautiful. 
The kick was good, and it's a 21 to 20 ball game, and Georgia has just been nailed with a clip. On the kickoff return, the football is put down at the Georgia five as Jackson celebrates on the sidelines. Brian Clark's extra point now, the big difference. As Buck Ballou turns and gives to Herschel Walker, and Walker comes out to the nine before he is brought down. And then David Galloway, number 85, made the play. There are the numbers on the touchdown drive for Florida that regains the lead for them at 21 to 20. There's still a lot of time to play. That was a tremendous come from behind drive with peace passing for most of the yardage. Second down and six for the Bulldogs at the nine. Ballou gives it to Walker. Walker gets around the corner. Powers up for what appears to be a first down. Banging it up to the 17. So the Bulldogs have some room to operate. You're right, Dave. That is a career for some folks. <laughs> he did it in one day. Here's Walker dancing around, looking for some daylight. And Herschel finds a little bit. Gets it out to the 19. Got two yards. Fernando Jackson <laughs> once again there. I was waiting for you to call his name. He's just eyeballing Herschel Walker and trying to stay with him wherever he goes. Walker now 140 yards on 36 carries. And he has scored all three of Georgia's touchdowns. One running and two is a pass receiver. Second down and eight. Buck Ballou. Gets in a little bit of trouble, but shakes it off. Look at him turn around the corner. Oh, what a hit. Galloway at 274 pounds, and Tom Wigman were over there, and they turned Buck around. You're going to see it's a bootleg type pass where he's going to fake one way and go back and try to find the fullback in the flat. But the fullback is covered. Ballou starts trying to. You're going to, you're going to see the, uh, number 68, Wayne Warren Gray, the left tackle, make the block that frees him a little bit more. And then 49, there's Fernando Jackson along with Galloway. And it's third down and eight. Give it to Walker. Walker goes against the grain, gets to the left side, dives, searching for the marker. He's close to it. He's close to it. Just depends on what they give him. He's got a first down. Boy, he's strong. He is so strong that it's just really tough for a defensive back to make the play. Defensive back weighs 190 pounds or 185, and Walker 220. Get down low, gives him that shoulder pad. Not much room to tackle him high. Got to go at him low. Oh, that Buck Ballou is doing a tremendous job. That's Herschel Walker for the day. Not too bad, huh? Mm. And those pass receptions are big key. Clarence K, the tight end for Georgia, breaks the snap count. Keith, those stats showed Walker's pass receptions for the ball game. I think it's interesting that for the season, Walker had only caught eight passes for a total of 18 yards. 2.3 yards per reception, but he's been the hero today. But he is he's so remarkable. He, oftentimes you see big, strong backs like that. The call here by Joe Hicks. But there's never, I've never seen another Herschel Walker in my time. No. No, sir. And what a fine young man. He's been handling all of his publicity and acclaim so beautifully. Looks a little tired, doesn't he? Yep. Ballou trying to get out. Oh, look at that. He gets away and he hits uh, Lindsey Scott up on the 30. He was almost caught back there in the, in the secondary, but he got away from Alonzo Johnson. On second down and seven, Ballou turns it up the middle. Has some room and he is just short of his first down as he Gets it up across the 36 to the 37. As a football coach, you cannot say too much about Buck Ballou. The receivers were covered. He had no chance to throw the ball, but he has the ability to turn up and come close to the first down mark. I think Georgia looking to buy a little moment to catch their breath and probably plot a little bit and uh, ask for a measurement. They are entitled to do so. In come the change. It is close enough to be a reasonable request. I and mean, got a first down. Yes, in Georgia, the time left on the clock, six minutes. How about that? Chewing the Gator up. Well, they've got to do something in six minutes and 34 seconds or they're going to lose this football game. The lug is certainly into the spirit of things. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
<laughs> well, it's first down for the Bulldogs. The ball is just outside the 37. Gators now trying to lock the door on them. They lead by 21 to 20, and Baloo sets it up to throw. He throws. It is knocked down. He, the man he was trying to deliver the ball to was Lindsey Scott, and uh, Alonzo Johnson slapped it away, but Scott was in a bunch of white shirts back there. I don't know if he had a chance. I, I was going to say the same thing. He might be lucky that the ball was knocked down because it very easily could have been intercepted. Three three defensive men surrounding Scott. Ballou is now 12 out of 21, 170 yards and two touchdowns. He has not been intercepted. Six minutes and 14 seconds, as you see, remaining to play in the game. Florida leading 21 to 20. On second down and 10, they give it to Walker. Walker gets a good block to get around the corner. Ronnie Stewart threw the block that opened the door for him, and Herschel uses the door to cross midfield to the Florida 49, and another Georgia first down. 161 yards for Herschel. We can look for the Florida defense now to go into some type of stunt as we watch the replay. Walker. Watch Stewart. Watch Stewart here. Stewart, number 33, makes the key block on number 43 on the cornerback. And then Walker keeps his poise and stays in bounds and makes the first down. Walker. Bang. Jackson. And Newton, Tim Newton as well. Two-man offense primarily for Georgia. Depends so much on Walker's running and Ballou's passing. Pretty good combination, as Keith said. Something like Southern Cal, depending on their quarterback in Marcus Allen. Second down and 10. Ball is on the Florida, 49. Well, it rests on his shoulders, Keith, whether Georgia's going to pull it out. Chased out of the pocket. He's got some room on the sidelines and quickly steps out of bounds to avoid the punishment down around the 47. Alton Jones, 67, and Robin Fisher, 66, were after him in USC now in the fourth quarter, 14 to 3 over California. California had been in the run and shoot offense through much of the season. It just simply had not been productive. So they dropped it and went back to their their uh, split back offense and they've become tough all of a sudden and that is a corrected score. Washington has not scored as yet against UCLA. If you look for Ballou going for the back out of the backfield again that's where he's been most successful. On third and eight. Over the middle it goes the pass is caught by Lindsey Scott down at the Florida 30. Well, that was a perfect read. Walker had released out of the backfield. The linebacker jumped on him, and when he did, that opened up Scott deep in the middle. The linebacker's up covering Walker out of the backfield. Good throw and good catch, and very timely, third and ten. Scott has caught four for 46 yards in the ball game. Now Florida's linebackers do not know whether to drop deep or stay up and cover the line halfback. First down, Florida 30. Walker, big hole. About nine. Down to around the 21. The draw play for George has been the best running play where they take a little bit of a pass and 33 do it just opens up the hole. And you're going to see Walker just one man, Curry, number 26. He tackles him high and gets him down. Scott was blocking on Curry, and if he had made a successful block, Walker would have scored. Walker with 170 yards on 40 carries. He's gained 103 yards in this half. Second and one. Again, he goes into the middle. He's almost loose. They get him at the three. He just about broke that one. Lilly got him at the three. You see him go limp-legged through that line. Somebody had him, and he just shook him off. Somebody hit him in the line, as you said, Keith, but that was the really Herschel Walker that we've been seeing in the past. He exploded, accelerated through the hole. He was not going to be denied. Let's see it again. Over the right part of your screen, 33. Walker, uh, Stewart, Stewart knocking the linebacker down. Watch him. Pick up that leg. Twist, spin. Keep going for the goal line. Finally, Lily number 18 brings him down short of the touchdown. Now, and it's first and goal to go as uh, Bruce Vaughn of Florida has to leave the field. Number 47 is ankle or knee, some injury. He has to leave the ball game. The clock stopping at three minutes and 56 seconds to play in the game. 21-20, 
Florida. First down and goal to go. Georgia at the Florida three. Protect the football. Walker to the one. Keith, Georgia coaches told me that Walker had really gotten proficient going over the top and scoring. You can look for that, I believe, the rest of this series possession. He's had a 190-yard day so far on 42 carries. And against a very sound, solid defensive line of Florida. Walker didn't get there. He will on the next one, I believe, if he leaps that high. Boy, he went up in there. Glenn Myers, it looked like, was in, uh, involved in there, but Lilly, the free safety, met him at the top of the stack in mid-flight. We just saw Charlie Pell, and you know what he's going through. The finish last year is enough to put a man out of coaching. Look at the height. Look at Walker spring in his legs. He goes over, but Florida linebackers stop him from breaking the imaginary plane above the goal line. Look out. Close it is. Third down. Walker, touchdown. Watch Walker. He's running over behind Wayne Retlaw, the left guard. Lawrence Gray, the left tackle. You can see Florida trying to go over the top to stop Walker's leap, but watch Walker. That's unbelievable. What an athlete. I don't think I've ever seen anybody, even Sam Cunningham, keep go that high. Well, the thing that's impressive to me now is they have gone 95 yards on 17 plays in nearly eight minutes to regain the lead. Have you heard the news? Wachovia has a low rate on a fixed rate mortgage that's rocking the house. And that means really low payments, whether you want to buy or refinance. But that's not all that's getting people out of their seats. Wachovia also has a fixed rate mortgage with monthly payment choices. So you get the wiggle room to make even lower payments when you want. Don't sit this one out. Call 1-888-567-1263 today and talk to a mortgage specialist about a great low rate on a fixed rate mortgage. From the bank with over 3,000 offices across America, no dot-com lender can offer that. The bank ranked number one in customer satisfaction six years in a row. See what all the excitement's about. Call 1-888-567-1263 to apply now and save up to $175 on your application fee. Are you with Wachovia? The Super Bowl is the ultimate prize. Now, for the first time ever, Sports Illustrated is celebrating each Super Bowl winning team with this one-of-a-kind collector's package. You'll get your choice of any of the 41 amazing DVDs chronicling your favorite Super Bowl winner's championship season. Relive history with rare footage, highlights, and powerful interviews from NFL Films America's Game Collection. Choose your team and Super Bowl season and get the DVD free with your paid subscription to SI. Plus, when you use your credit card, you'll also get a framed reprint of the original Sports Illustrated cover commemorating your team's Super Bowl victory. Each iconic cover is a true classic. Both are free with your paid subscription to SI. All 41 champions are available. Go to ordersi.com and order now. Remember what it meant. Now, recapture what it means with these two great gifts. Call 1-800-482-9200 or visit ordersi.com. Well, here we are, 26-21. Do you remember that was the score of last year's ball game? And Georgia is going to go for two. I wouldn't be surprised if Walker doesn't get the ball here. He's the lone remaining back. They've got three wide receivers to the right side. Now they send Stewart in motion. They give it a Herschel. He does not get there. He was brought down by Fernando Jackson, just short of the goal line. So Herschel Walker, for the moment, is tied with two 
people Johnny Cook and Rabbit Smith for the most points scored in a game at 26 to 21 and another look at his fourth touchdown look at the height that Herschel Walker can plant his foot off of his right foot look at him go up all the way over gets his body's turned down where when he falls he's over the goal line he has also set a southeastern conference and a school record for the number of carries in a ball game with 44. Stewart number 33 is trying to block Curry out and let uh, Walker run the sweep in for the touchdown but there's Jackson hits him first and knocks him down number 49. And then no Jackson. So you've still got two minutes and 31 seconds to play in the ball game. And Herschel is tired. Look at that. 95 yards. I don't think I've seen a more impressive drive under all the tension and pressure. I have. Been with I Georgia remember game. one about five, six years ago when Andy Johnson took Georgia yes. on Thanksgiving night, 99 yards. Against my alma mater. That's right. But I don't know where they had that much at stake as Georgia has right now. You're right, they didn't. Here's the kick by Butler. High hanger Curry drifting over at the one. And tumble down at the 21-22 by Melvin Simmons. There's Herschel Walker, tied the school record with four TDs. That's a wink, and I don't blame you, Herschel. You've earned it, old boy. You have earned it. Though Buck Ballou has been brilliant today, could there be any other MVP than 34? Boy, I tell you, Buck Ballou, as a coach who has to work with quarterbacks, my hat's off to that young man. Oh, he's put on a performance. Great day today. From the 22, it's put up time for the Gators as Wayne Peace has had a pretty fair day himself. The ball is caught. The ball is knocked loose. It is fumbled. It is recovered by Georgia. Spencer Jackson made the reception. Steve Kelly knocked the ball loose, and it looks like it was Eddie Weaver that covered it. And so all of a sudden, the Gators have bad luck bite them. Let's watch it again. Jackson's going to just turn in. Harris, number 27, is giving a little shove, covering him. But he's going to be open inside. He catches the ball. Let's see if he holds it for two steps. Yes, he had. Oh, my goodness. Did you see I had the ball? Yep. Out in his hand. Never saw Kelly coming, did he? Never did, but he shouldn't have it out in his hand. You tuck it away. You what was Harris doing? Him. Harris is going to stand there spectating him. Oh, my goodness. What a mistake for Jackson. Where's Charlie D? And uh, it's Georgia Patrick. Get that water, man. Oh, my goodness alive. There's Steve Kelly, the safety man. Walker with the ball. Every time he carries it now, it's a new conference. A school record. The ball comes loose. And he covers it. So Herschel Walker has the ball stripped out of his arms. Back on the 30. That's Wayne Peace. Come on, my hats are off to him, too. He's had a great ball game against a fine Georgia defense. Two minutes to play. Just a sophomore. Going to be a good one, Keith. Going to be a real good one. Timeout called by Florida. One minute and 57 seconds to play in the game. 26 21, Georgia. A good day? It starts with a good night on your Searsopedic mattress. Only at Sears. These are truly different. Spring free, impurity free foam construction. Worry free quality and value. So comfy, so cozy, so affordable. Keeps you cushioned and aligned. Helps keep heat and moisture out. Pressure points? Eliminated. Tossing and turning? Alleviated. Hypoallergenic? Antimicrobial. Rest assured, that's nothing to sneeze at. And neither is all this. A 30-day comfort guarantee and a 10-year warranty. Half off savings and no payments for 12 months. Free delivery, and when you go to Sears.com slash beds, a free hypoallergenic soft is down comforter with purchase. Find the Searsopedic mattress you'll all love and get ready for a great day. Sears, where it begins. Hi, I'm Kevin Brown. And I'm Jamie Kaplan, and we'd like to invite you to the Five Star Mazda Kevin Brown Celebrity Golf and Clays Classic, presented by Starcadia, Wachovia, and the Telegraph, to benefit the Macon Rescue Mission and FCA. Golf tournament is Thursday, October 25th at Healy Point Country Club. 
celebrity scheduled include Kevin, Charlie Trippy, Rodney Hampton, John Odom, Ray Golf, Phil Necro, and many more. For more information, call Jamie at 746-2394. Hope to see you there. Own a timeshare or campground membership? Turn it into cash. Timeshares only got us our full asking price before our next monthly payment was due. Timeshares only is the nation's largest, number one, most successful timeshare agency, representing properties from the biggest names in the industry. No one sells more timeshares. Call now and receive a free information kit, including 10 secrets to timeshares. You owe it to yourself to work with the best. Don't delay. Call 800-215-6128. Those uh, shirts are all over town. Walker by land, Baloo by air, Butler Stowe, we're almost there. Georgia you know trying to win over Florida, and it's just about what we all expected it to be. A dog and a gator fight. And it's been a fight. Walker's not trying to gain yardage now as much as he is protect the football. Get the clock rolling, make Florida spend its timeouts so that if they do get the ball back, they won't have any timeouts with which to work. And they are whittling away at them right now as the Florida Gators call another timeout with a minute and 49 to play. <sighs> Cold. Eyeballs are freezing. What if I can't blink? Oh, God. Now, if only I could get the feeling back in my toe. Run cold or run in Nike Pro. Available at Dick's Sporting Goods. Please drink responsibly. Should a man over 50 take the same multivitamin as a woman? I don't think so. Now there's new one-a-day men's 50-plus advantage, the only complete multivitamin with support for prostate and heart health, plus more ginkgo for memory and concentration. Nice. New from one-a-day. Oh, freezing. I wish I had a nice hot cup of Earl Grey. That sounds like a country singer. Earl Grey. Wow, dear. <laughs> play cold or play in Nike Pro. Available at Dick's Sporting Goods. Well, nothing transforms a room quite like a fathead. The size, the amazing detail, but uh, capturing a moment that big, it's, it's not easy. As a fathead photographer, you've got to be fast. You have to have reflexes like a jungle cat, like a ninja, like a, like a ninja cat. You need to be half cat, half ninja. Maybe 60, 40 ninja. Real big fathead. The biggest players, the biggest moments. Never look so real. Get yours today at fathead.com. It's back. Oh, look at that! The legendary American Gladiator. Sweet night, 7 Eastern, 10 Pacific on ESPN Classic. Tonight on ESPN Classic, at 8, Miranda versus Eastman, a title eliminator from 2006. At 9, Eddie up for the World Series of Poker. And at 10, who's number one counts down the greatest game sevens? It's all tonight on ESPN Classic. There's your score in the fourth quarter with a minute and 49 to play in the ball game. Florida has no timeouts remaining, none remaining. The ball is sitting on the Florida 30. They had the ball. They had a pass completed. Jackson had the ball knocked loose from him. Georgia recovered it. And now Florida is in trouble trying to get the ball away from Georgia. It is third down, however, and 13 for the Bulldogs at the Florida 30. Keep an interesting point. Will Georgia go for a field goal if they don't make a first down? I would think so. Herschel Walker trying to get to the outside. He keeps shaking tacklers. And now he is down to the Florida 25. Well short of the first down, obviously. But it brings up fourth down and may very well bring Kevin Butler into the ball game. Keith, I don't think it's that easy a decision because the one way Florida could win, and I've seen it happen twice in my career, blocking a field goal, picking it up and scoring with it. He's they, coming. He's coming. He's coming. Broadway's coming. It is now oh, here comes Butler. He's the holder, so here comes Butler. Butler on the year, 15 out of 21. He missed an extra point a little while ago. I would tell Butler that if the holder juggles the snap, 
I wouldn't kick it. I'd just let it be a dead ball right there. Well, now Georgia has called timeout. Florida had none remaining. The clock kept winding along to 104. And now time called by Georgia. They want to make sure they're organized for the uh, field goal try. If he makes it, he makes it a 29 to 21 ball game where Florida would have to score and have to convert two points in order to tie. It will be a 43 yard field goal. Keith, I remember one time where Mer Maryland was trailing in a similar situation and one of the opponents, I don't remember which one, tried a field goal. They blocked it, picked it up, scored, and won the football game. It is possible. While timeout is on the field, run very quickly through the scores as the hour draws late. Pitt, number one, winning today. USC, number two, is winning in the fourth quarter in a tough game with Cal. Here's the field goal try now from 43 yards by the freshman Kevin Butler. He's five out of five at this distance. The kick is in the air. It is no good. It slid off to the right side. He missed it. And it's 26 21 and Florida gets the ball with 59 seconds to play in the game. And Florida is primarily a passing team. They went down the field. They have no timeouts. But they did go down and score in the fourth quarter on a big drive in less than two minutes. Well, they had it moving a while ago. Little Jackson turned it loose on the hit by Kelly. They start from the 27th. Peace. Going to get some heat. Outside he goes. The pass is away. The pass good to Spencer Jackson. Stumbles. Running for the sidelines. Can't get there. Up to the 40. It's a first down. The clock stops as they move the chains. That's one of the differences in college football versus professional football. As they move the chains, the clock stops. Florida with, without any timeouts remaining. They have none remaining. They've used their three. Now the clock goes as soon as the chain is put down. And Peace steps back on first down from the 40. Throws it over the middle. The pass is caught. No, it is not caught. It was trapped. He, the ball hit right in front of the receiver. Chris Faulkner was sliding down and couldn't handle it. But that stops the clock now with 39 seconds. Don't leave. It's possible. Faulkner leaves the game. The Swift people are coming back. Tyrone Young, number 10, is in. Where's Lang? Is Broughton Lang out there? Oh, I believe, yes. Yes, he is. He goes to the top of the picture, number two. He's the flyer. And Lang is 6'6", six, six, if they throw it up the grabs. Young is. I mean, Young is 6'6". Six, six. Peace, back to throw, has some time. He throws, the pass is caught. It's a short pattern at midfield to Young. The clock is running, 30 seconds to play. 26-21, Georgia, Florida, trying to get in position. They've got Lang and Young. The Gators moving around. Now they've got a set and go. 20 seconds to play in the ball game. Peace now. Georgia way back, dropping deep. Pass is caught. And uh, Faulkner is dropped for what appears to be a first down. That will sh should stop the clock at 13 seconds. They've got 13. to go deep, Keith. They've got no choice. They've got to go deep. Georgia's got four people playing deep. And a free safety behind the free safety. To the sideline. Pass is incomplete. You have six seconds to play. One play if it goes long. Take Maybe two if they choose to go short. Georgia will play a three deep secondary, and then they'll take another man and line up 20 yards behind the free safety. You see Kelly going back, all the way back, in behind the free safety. Take Tyrone Young, 6'6", six, six, run him down the boundary and throw it up the scramble. That's just about all you can do at this point. He's going all the way over, number 10. You think Georgia would surround him with red. Peace rolls out. Throws short to Lang. Lang's got no chance. He's dropped. The ball game is over. The ball game is over. And the score is identical to last year. Georgia 26. Florida 21. But they took you to the very last second. Before it was finally resolved, and I am sure Vince Dooley and the Georgia Bulldogs, who are now eight and one, are collectively taking a deep sigh of relief. Well, there is your final score. Another rouser between the Gators and the Bulldogs from Jacksonville, Florida, 26 to 21. This is a presentation of ABC Sports, recognized around the world as the leader in sports television.